thank you. So I will present uh, a case management uh, that I developed. So uh, the idea of the case management is to be flexible, usable in a different case. Um, the idea is to be very light and uh, with maximum information that we can have uh, really quickly. So here we can, you can see uh, the list of uh, case I have created. So here is uh, the title, uh, the description, notification, um, this is the statue of uh, the, the case and uh, I can deal, I can complete the, the case quickly, edit or delete it. Okay, if I click on it, then I am in the case. So here uh, I can list a multiple task. Um, I have some um, action that I can uh, do on the task. Um, I can complete, take the assignment, edit, delete, and I can uh, see here uh, the statue. And then I can click on the task and I, I have some uh, more information. I can assign some users on the, on the task. I can uh, add some files, add some notes. This is a markdown. Markdown notes, so we can have uh, also some mermaid, and we can do some reports, export as PDF, for example. Uh, I can change the statue here. The idea too is to be able to work with different organization. So here I create two organization, admin admin, and one circle. So um, I can assign one user, so David Shusini. I assign it so then he will receive an, uh, a notification and he will be assigned to the task. So uh, I can assign myself to and then I can go here and see which task I am assigned to. So here is another another um, case with here you can see a markdown with mermaid uh, notes and I can export it as PDF uh, so it's uh, really useful. There's also a calendar, so where you can see uh, the creation, the deadline of your case, your task. Uh, you have also the possibility to import the case with task in JSON format, uh, and you can create some templates. You know, in case on a forensic case, you can um, do uh, a sort of a baseline or a, met a methodology to, to, to follow with I have to do this one, this one, and I can assign some people. So if I come back on my case uh, here, so yeah, it's a strange name, but <laughs> just for uh, for the presentation. Um, so I can say uh, David is assigned to this task, to this task, admin admin is assigned to, so uh, we can uh, say I do this task and you do this one. It's, it's useful in case of um, of, my, uh, of uh, forensic, and you can also write your report just here and export as PDF. And uh, with the possibility to work with different organizations, it can be useful for uh, report, threat intel report, um, to work, for example, on a, on a CVE, and to not do the same or uh, work on the same article than uh, an organ another organization. And for example, to to not uh, create a lot of misbehavior that is also already exists. So I think that's it. I'll go really fast, but uh, this project is open source and um, is also on GitHub. This is actively, okay. <laughs> this is uh, really, sorry. Uh, in development, in active development, so if you have uh, some recommendation or uh, some idea, just uh, you are more than welcome to open up issue on GitHub or pull a request. That's it for me. What is the link? The link? Sorry, the link. Just here. Where, where is it? Just here. So I, I have no connection, so it doesn't work. Ah. So on the version, uh, in the button on the, uh, on the, on the home pages. Ah, okay. Gitem.com slash flowintel slash flowintem dash cm. Yeah. I don't know if you see it. Yeah. Sorry for that. Maybe. Okay. okay, David, thank you very much for that. Yeah.